Hello, welcome to the talk Global Inner Source Adoption at Once. I hope you are doing great and ready for the next 15 minutes of content. I will share my experience after one year of inner source movement. I am Dmitry Sugrobov, I am software engineer at Leroy Merlin. I strongly believe that modern development approaches are all solving the problems, solving the business problems more efficiently. Last year, I worked on processes associated with the life of the code during and after it's being created. Together with the group of enthusiasts, we helped the teams to care not only about what they are doing, it, what they are building, and to care also about how they are doing it. This talk based on my experience of inner source journey of the Russian business unit of Leroy Merlin. This company is one of the largest do-it-yourself chains with a presence in the 13 different countries. The company is part of the ADEO Group, a large organization that helps people around the world improve their homes. Firstly, this will be a story of our inner source adoption. During this talk, you can meet similarities with your projects, with your inner source journey. The uniqueness of our trip is that we didn't, we, we don't have a plan to start with a small pilot project. We, from the start, thought about how to spread inner source activities to whole company. Second, I will share our things, our findings during the journey. I hope you will find this useful for your company, for your case. It will be possible to reuse some practices in your activities. It will be great to have a conversation in the chat during the talk. If you have any suggestions or any comments during the presentation, during the talk, please write them in the chat section. This will make a talk more useful. Again, if you have any comment or questions, please write in the chat and let's go. Let's start with the reasons for the inner source adoption in our case. The first and main reason is to make our development more mature. What does it mean? We want to boost the adoption of the new people in the project, improve the quality of and transparency of the processes inside our company when we're working with internal developers or we working with external companies. Mature development means for us an increase of the speed of development and gives to us opportunity to share the knowledge between the teams. Second, we have a number of the business units that solve similar problems day by day. With the inner source, it will be possible to reuse some parts of the code or to build something together or at least to be inspired by neighbor solutions and took their best practices. The third is our HR brand challenge. If we want to hire the best engineers from the market, we need to build the best engineering culture inside our company. Inner source principles, together with another cultural principles, allow us to build the strongest development team. These three main reasons led us that we get support from the top. Applause here. Here was the start of our inner source journey. I wondered about how to describe what uh, we did during this year. I came to the conclusion that, uh, conclusion that it can be divided into the three logical levels. First is the global or group of companies level. Second, uh, all activities what we did in the business unit in a company level. And the last one is a team level and uh, all inside the teams. Let's start from the group level. Many business units, a large number of teams each day solving similar problems. Before inner source, there were many attempts of collaboration between TV units, which were sometimes not entirely successful. We had two forces connected with inner source. The first is our platform team. They was responsible for solving problems while working with the common source code storage platform. They was also responsible for the seats available in the tool and optimizations what was created for inner source to make on board faster. The second is inner source ambassadors team. They created the common rules for all business units what we had, and their duties are the creation for the looking for the new ambassadors across business units 
and to share the practices inside their unions. We, as ambassadors, created a set of the common rules for the inner source. That was the easy answer on Tim's question, what we need to do if we want to participate in inner source activities. We had a one open platform to all code what we have inside the different business units. It brings to us more transparency in our processes and of course it makes it easier to communicate and to work together uh, between these different uh, units. If the platform team should focus uh, their attention on the inner source tasks, you will achieve the cool level of integration between tools, different checks and so on. It is important to have a leader of the movement on a global level. Without it, you will have a problem uh, with the new business units in inner source, or you will have a limited number of uh, inner source ambassadors across the uh, companies, and you will not share the knowledge between units. That was a group level. Switching to the company level. I will speak about activities that we managed inside our business unit. Originally, we had several different places where we stored the code and approximately more than 200 internal and the same number of external developers. Our task was to lead them to one platform and to a single set of rules. So the number one question what we had is where we are now, where we are located, how many teams we have, what they are doing, and um, inner source adoption uh, helps us to answer these questions. We asked a number of questions to all IT leaders. The result of this was the list of the projects, what we have inside our company, their feelings about inner source and contacts for the teams. After all, we ranked all projects in two scales. First is complexity. How is hard to clean the code and make it ready for inner source? And the second is utility. Is it product needed by other teams or can it be reusable by others? In the end, we put this into matrix and divided all projects into quarterly waves. Here is a slide from the presentation for the teams where we explained what is the inner source and their timeline. We started from the leaders meetings and the inner source basics. Then we went to the meetings with the teams where we described the technical aspects and organizational aspects of the inner source. After some time, the team handled the tasks needed and we checked what they did and we announced it publicly that they are ready for inner source. Two questions here. First, what is the tasks? And second, what means ready? First, we use a document created by ambassadors answering on all questions connected with inner source. Also, this document contains the table based on different open source checklists explaining the desired states of repository. This table divides into, into the two sections. First is mandatory section, where you need to clean your repositories from the secrets, create the basic readme for your repository. And the second is optional part. Each item in the optional part of the table uh, have sev some number of points. If, when you comply with this item, so you are receiving these points. So if you reached minimum number of points, it means that you created um, the minimum viable product for the inner source and you're ready for inner source. And of course, uh, to spread the movement, we had one to one and one to many uh, different meetings, events with presentation and food, and monthly reports where we say thank you to new ready for inner source projects and people who worked on that. So, we had an ambassadors inside our company. That means we have different inner source activities managed by them. The results of questionnaire brings to us knowledge where we are and this makes our decisions better because we know all development teams inside the company. Inner source shifting the way how we are working with external companies. Previously, we had no idea what inside the product. Now we are working together and building the software in the transparent way. You should prepare to a big number of meetings. The new projects will appear very not expected. In our practice, we were surprised how many of them we have outside IT department. And of course, the most of companies frequently changes their structure. It will influence on your plans. So, 
That's all for the company level. Let's go to the team level. And the question number one here is why I should play this game? Why I should invest resources and time in this activity? And answering on this question, we created these beautiful mountains explaining the benefits from the inner source to a different levels. And the main level here is the team level. At least they can improve transparency of this, their practices. They will shift with the work with externals and from the black box, as I said previously, to the work together. They will make development delicious and when we're explaining inner source basics to any developers, they really like it because it's really delicious. They will speed up new developers' adoption and it means that onboarding processes will be faster and they will faster earn money from the new developers. They will remove silos of knowledge and they will lend their knowledge from the heads to the documents. And they will take industry best practices. Why we are talking about it? So the, the big number of developers across the different countries speaking in different languages, working in open source, and they, they are doing it really efficient way. And why to not take these uh, practices and to not create the wheel, to just reuse these practices from open source inside our, the company. And this means that we will have best practices which are working in uh, building very complex software and to have them inside our company. The next level is business unit level. They will solve the bottleneck problem when one team can help another and to uh, create the function for them and to make it faster. So they will able to reuse existing parts of the code or to use them in their projects and to do it freely. And they will improve their projects with the free force from externals. For example, when you <coughs> need some function from another team, you will do it for them. And one thing that they need to do is just to push the green button and merge this pull request. Because of automatizations you have, you can do it freely. And this function will be, will free for your team. And the last level on the top, it's a group level. You can take solutions from your internal market, or again, you can improve your products uh, with functions which somebody create will create for you and send to you pull requests. Even the product is needed only for one team and bringing this to the state of ready for inner source will give you benefits, so you will improve the quality of your code, you will uh, increase the speed of onboarding your teams, and uh, you will uh, make the standard of uh, development inside your organization. So we have business unit ambassadors inside the teams. They helping to spread knowledge about inner source practices inside teams and help the teams uh, prepare their repositories for inner source. It means that uh, um, projects improving technically and staying more mature. Teams achieving benefit on their level and they are doing it not because somebody tells them that you have to um, care about inner source. No, they understand why they are doing it. Here must not working. It means that you should uh, answer the questions and create the meetings for them and explain the basics of inner source and explain it's not because somebody tells you that you have to care about inner source. No, it, it, to explain uh, the benefits on a team level. And preparation, of course, takes resources and resources should be invested by the team. And only in this case, the team should achieve after the benefits of inner source. That was the three fields of attention to each level what you have in your company. On a group level, it's important to have a leader of the movement who will manage the global process and will help the ambassadors to spread inner source inside their business units. At the company level, it is important to have someone who will explain the teams to the inner source principles and help them to transform their projects. At the team level, it is important to answer on the question why they need it. And sometimes it's not an easy task. Focusing in each level, you will drive an inner source adoption in a balanced way. And all people on each levels will be happy. Thank you for your attention.